in for a treat in this matchup, Greg, with two conference rivals set to clash yet again. Yeah, we're going to see some added effort and intensity, and, and don't be surprised if it gets a little chippy. Memphis moving it around, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. A point who knows his role. Ja loves setting guys up, always looking to pass it. Doncic against Morant. Doncic kicks to Irving. Good, and the assist goes to Doncic. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. But I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Good on the triple. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Front pass the arc. Can't hit that one. Now Memphis takes it the other way. They came away with the victory in the last meeting, which, by the way, was also in this building. Well, they... I think there was no question they brought a level of physicality along with a tremendous work ethic, and it was why they were successful. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Drummond passes to Garner. Wants to get it to Morant and does. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And that speaks to Morant's fearlessness. Even amongst the trees, he is confident looking to score with the ball. Doncic finds Irving. Nice shot from 10 feet out. Irving's got his second basket of the game. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Iguodala with the steal. From 11 feet away, here's Doncic. No good on the shot. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Passes to Henry. Puts up a three. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got three assists now in this one. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. Doncic against Morant. Here's Irving. Plays it up off the glass. Irving's got his third basket of the night right there. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. Here's Henry. Here's Drummond. Jackson trying to break free. And that one's good. Drummond. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this game. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin, I was able to talk with Memphis's head coach. Talk to me about the importance of protecting the rim, challenging opponents at the top of the jump, and making it difficult for them to convert easy baskets. But to have a chance of that, they have to expend energy getting back in transition, which will help close down those driving lanes. So guys will see where their energy lies throughout this game. All right, David, thanks. Irving drives in. That one drops for him. That's now eight points for Kyrie Irving. Yeah, because Luka Doncic is such a threat to score it, it opens up the passing game, and boy, it is on display right now. And that one's good, Henry. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Wood kicks to Irving. Grizzlies with the rebound. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. Yeah, mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. I thought what really stood out was how dominant they were on the offensive end. That was about as flawless as you could hope for. Here's Irving. Puts it in off the nasty crossover. Irving's got 10. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And a bucket like that one might be just what they need to cut into this lead. Sinks the triple. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. 
Doncic outside. Shoots over Morant. He's now one for two with that bucket. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Pass to Henry. Fires the three. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got assist number eight now on the night. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Doncic dishes to Irving over Henry, and it's Irving missing. And the Grizzlies leading by 14. Here's Jackson. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Well, it was the Dallas Mavericks in their last game, a loss to the Celtics. Rough game defensively. I mean, they lost a lot of the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. I'll tell you this, if you're going to allow your opponent to make that many shots, you have got to be as solid on the offensive end, and clearly, they were not. Adams is the pivot for him with Jackson Jr. at the fourth. Jones is out there with Slim, and it's Gardner in at the three spot. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Drummond's checked in for Memphis. Here's Irving. He's coming off a 28-point game against Boston. Well, you also have to credit the way he controlled the pace of the game and was able to create for his teammates. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Jackson passes to Jones. Here's Henry. And that comes off the assist by Jones. And that's now 21 points for Slim. And even after all those three-pointers he hit in that first quarter, it looks like the D still didn't learn its lesson as they've left him open for another one. No good from Irving. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. Jackson, a screen on Irving. Jones, the pass to Jackson. And again, it's Memphis with the three. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Hayward outside. Outside Irving from downtown. Again, Irving missing. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Henry. And again, it's Memphis with the three. This is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. To the middle. Here's Wood. And finished off by Wood. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, guys, Slim in the last outing against Philadelphia played some huge minutes. He finished with 49 points, and he got those points as he always does, knocking down shots from beyond the arc. The stat line was filled, and the whole league was talking about it. We'll see what he does for an encore tonight, Kevin. Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. One of the things I like about this guy, he's able to up the intensity whenever needed, and players really feed off his energy. Outside Hardaway. Chalk up two there. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. The pass to Henry. From deep. And again for three. 
buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. The Mavericks have gone 50% for the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Iguodala outside. Inside. Here's Irving. That shot off the mark. Good D by Jones. Drummond with a screen on Iguodala. Down low. Nice move. And there's Drummond. That's good on the assist by Jones. And he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Morant comes in for Tyus Jones. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. JaVale McGee's checked in for Christian Wood. Maxi Kleba comes in for Andre Iguodala. Hardy, he's checked in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And Doncic is subbed in for Irving. Two free throws coming up. I'm Drew Drummond. First personal foul. First team foul. Great for our audience. Can you explain what that's about? It's a great point, Kevin. And, and listen, the two defenders on what we call the boxes, that's down in the low post there. And you see those two boxes down at the end of the free throw line. And then you have the two defenders on the elbow. And that's the edge of the free throw line. The idea to close down the paint. Morant against Doncic. to Kleba. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Memphis. Tillman's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. No good on the triple from Henry. Dallas has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. And here's Hardy. 17 points for him last game against Boston. Fader on the way. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. For Memphis, they've gone 8 of 10 from the field here in the second quarter. You've got to like how they've shot the ball. Here's Morant. And another basket for Memphis. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. Well, technical foul. Luka Doncic since he entered the league. First of all, you love his passion, but I think we've seen real progress in this regard, and that's because you understand if you're Luka Doncic, you need to play high minutes for your team. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Adams checked in. Henry. And Adams kicks to Henry. Trains it from beyond the arc. Henry's got 36. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results over to the wing they need this score the basket his second of two attempts and an eye for an eye both teams working to stretch the floor well that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end to the right side takes a three good and the nice assist from Moran Moran's got 10 assists here tonight so active Pass to McGee. Back to Doncic. Right block shot. That's good on the jump shot. Doncic has got his second basket of the night. Once he's inside that painted area, you can see the level of aggression from Luka Doncic rise. This guy knows he can score it in there. Morant scanning the floor. Let's go. And he gets it again. Shot good from Henry. Henry's got 41. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Hardy passes to Hayward. McGee sets the pick for Hayward. He kicks to Doncic. Fade away. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's Memphis going to the break, holding an enormous 36-point lead. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. And don't go away. We'll be right back.
Good to see you and welcome. A lopsided game through two quarters and a big deficit for the Dallas Mavericks. They're not shooting it well so far. Actually, they've been terrible. But fellas, I got an idea for them. Feed the post, let the big man eat. Jeez. And with All-Star Weekend approaching, love the three-point shootout. Here are some of the possible contenders. The thing about the three-point contest, we sort of know who's going to be headlining. Question is, which underdogs will be added to the fray? Fray. Spell it, tough guy. Is that the first time you've used that word? Uh, second. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Slim having a dominant impact in this game. You, you just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Jason Kidd. Iguodala out there with Christian Wood. And it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Hayward, and it's Doncic in a point guard. And that one's good, Henry. And, and really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Doncic against Morant. Doncic passes to Wood. Iguodala outside. Wood a screen on Jackson. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. Offline with his three. Pass to Jackson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jackson's got seven points. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And that one's good, Henry. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. And that, to me, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. Dallas again missing. Boy, yet another missed opportunity here. Whatever they talked about at halftime, it's not working. From deep, and another one falls. My goodness, 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. Here's Doncic, and the dunk by Doncic. And with the monster finish, he stops an 11-0 run by the Grizzlies. And there's the pass to Gardner. Morant outside. And the layup fall. He has seven. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Looking to get it going. And there's the nice layup by Irving. So many things go into Kyrie Irving's game. Right there, the quickness and the craftiness on the drive. It's special. To the paint. Here's Henry. He's covered by Irving. Drummond trying to get himself free. And there's Jackson on the assist by Henry. And they have come out of halftime in fuego. Dallas has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. The three for Doncic. And stolen by Drummond. Kicks it to Henry. Let's the three fly. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Their great outside shooting really fueling this run. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers, and they found a temporary edge. But now every team shoots a lot of threes, and it's more about personnel. 
When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And D.A., we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD, uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. I'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. The three. Kyrie Irving grabs the miss. And the Mavericks with possession. Wood with the screen for Irving. Pass to Wood. Iguodala dishes to Hayward. Iguodala setting the pick for Hayward. Top of the key jumper, no good. And so it's Drummond with it. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Doncic against Morant. Shot clock at six. Here's Henry. Connects from three-point range. Henry's got 59 points. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. There's a screen. And finished off by Doncic. How about the finish from Luka Doncic? My goodness. Go ahead with the hammer. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Passes it to Henry. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Doncic. Dallas shooting an ugly 27% since halftime. Irving from long range. Nailed from three-point land. Irving's got five points now this quarter. Ooh, finally hitting one from range. That's his first three of the night. The train. Out to Morant from the arc. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Morant's got 10 points in the game. Anjic passes to Irving. The shot will not fall. Nice D from Henry. The Grizzly shooting has been just uncontainable. 72%. Morant right side. He kicks it to Henry. Launches it. And again! That's 62 points, 62. Amazing, a, a remarkable performance from him so far. Doncic outside. There's the drive, and Doncic throws it down. Well, the tight handle allows Luka Doncic to make the pretty move off the bounce. And the pass to Garner. 30 seconds left in the third. Here's Morant. Up and in on the way. He's got 12. Uh, haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Irving misses. I think he's got to settle down, because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter, he has been completely bothered. Oh, the big finish by Morant. Some of his most spectacular plays happen well above the rim. The three for Doncic. And that one released in time, but no good. And as we conclude the third. Turn from break. The fourth quarter gets underway. You look like a genius, coach. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Kennard is out there with Slim. Then there's Andre Drummond. And it's Aldama with the power forward. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Dallas shooting at 36% of the night. They've got to step it up offensively. Outside Hardaway. Kleba with a screen on Kennard. Hardaway, no good. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. Kennard against McGee. Kennard, the pass to Drummond. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a 12 
first team. At the line for Memphis. Two shots. Shooting two. and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with. That's good from Henry. Both free throws good from Henry. Now the Mavericks with it. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Henry. Pritchard gets the bucket. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. The Grizzlies shooting has been sensational. 75% for the game. Pass to Henry. Drummond the screen. Good. That's another bucket. And that's 70. He's unbelievable. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. And he's easily been their best rebounder tonight. He's competed for every missed shot. Feels like he's quicker to the basketball than anyone else out there. Stolen by McGee. One-on-one -on -one here. Here's Hardaway. And then Hardaway with the dunk. Well, you can see Tim Hardaway is in his element right now. This guy, a solid transition player. He knows where to get to. Pass to Kinnard. And the play-in tournament, Greg, is here to stay, but the terminology is somewhat in limbo. Is that going to be part of the playoffs? You hear people say it's not the playoffs. It's the play-in. Maybe the term postseason should cover both the play-in and the playoff. It's something to think about. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. And another turnover here by Memphis. And some changes here. for Memphis as they get the win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. Tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Owner, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Just doing it for gas money, you know? Spending twice as much for you.